All right, YouTube. So today what I got for you guys is the iced barbed wire chain by your boys, the Gold Shop. And today we're going to go ahead and take a look at it, close up, details, review what I think about it and just how it overall looks on my body. So you guys can get that, you know, relative view. If you were to purchase it, how it would look on your body as well. So let's go ahead and jump right into this review. Now, starting like always, I always like to show you guys the website info just so if you do want to take a look at it, you can. So let's go ahead and jump right into that real quick. So jumping right up to the top, we can go ahead and type in Iced Barbed, and it's going to bring up our first selection, which is the Iced Barbed Wire um, necklace in white gold. And you can see it's listed here for $229. Now, if you don't want to pay $229, you can do the four easy payments with the payment settle system. And also, they're still shipping even to the, due to this whole COVID-19 thing. So don't even worry about it. You'll still get your product if you do purchase it. Also, if you want to get an 18 karat solid white gold, it'll run you about $30,000 and it'll have the SI diamonds in it as well. Now, you can also see the length variations. They have the 18 inch and the 20 inch. The one I currently have is the 18 inch, but if you do want the 20 inch, you can get it for just $10 more. And they have some information here about their shipping and of course the specifications. So you can see the length 18 or 20 inches. The width is about five millimeters. And then it, the weight can vary to up to five grams depending on the length, as you can see there. And lastly, the material options, it's 18 karat white gold plated CZ stones, which is the one I have, or you can do the 14 karat white solid gold for the SI stones, and that's $30,000. So if you got that money, go ahead and drop it on there. But if not, um, yeah, let's go and get right back into the review. Now, getting right back into this piece, I have to say it's probably one of my favorite pieces by the Go Shop, mainly because it just has character to it. So I wore this a little bit, you know, I've had it for probably a you know, couple months now and I've worn it for a long time. And every single time I do wear it, I get the same reaction. Yo, where'd you get that? How can you get that? Where, where can I get one? And everybody always likes it because it's subtle. But even though it being subtle, it has a lot of character to it and just pushes a lot of like that nice character feel to your fit. So you have a good fit on and then you pop this on there with it. It's really subtle, but it still pops to make the whole fit look like it just comes together really nicely. So that's probably this piece is one of my favorite pieces at the moment. I'm not just saying that because I like the gold shop where I just like chains or jewelry. There's a lot of chains that they have that I just wouldn't review mainly because I didn't like them. Or there's you've seen in the past that I commented on like the micro tennis chain I had. And I said that one wasn't too good and it really wasn't. I thought it was trash. But this chain here is actually nice. Now with everything, there are the goods and the bads. And the bad thing, the only bad thing I can say about this chain, say you're wearing like a tatted shirt and you know, at the top of the neck, it's kind of ripped and tattered. A lot of the times this chain is gonna hold on to those threads. And then when you try to fix it, it's gonna just, you know, get knotted into inside the chain, which kind of sucks. That's the only thing that really bothers me. But the other than that, it doesn't really bother you too much. The other thing too, when you're taking it off, the clasp almost feels like the barbed wires here so it's really hard to figure out where the darn clasp is when you're trying to take it off so that kind of messes you up a little bit too and lastly sometimes if you're sweating and you have this on you're gonna feel it so if you're performing on stage or something like that and you're sweating you might feel a little bit on your neck because it's gonna feel like something's poking you i don't know why maybe just me because i have like a you know maybe a chain reaction or something like that but whenever i put this on and I'm sweating, I feel like it's itching my neck for some reason, but it could just be a biased thing to my neck condition. I don't know, but yeah. So another thing too, is when you're doing like a low light test with this one here, you don't really see a lot of shine because the stones are really, really small on the piece. So if you have the bigger stones, like I said in the past before, if you have like a tennis chain or things with like bigger stones, you'll definitely see it sparkle. But if you're wearing this one, you're not gonna see too much sparkle at night or in a club or anything like that because the stones are really, really small. So you see subtle sparkle, but you're not gonna see it you know, immensely like you will on a tennis chain. But other than that, that's how I feel about this chain. I think it's dope. I like it a lot. It's still one of my favorite chains and I still like to wear it all the time. Um, you know, not all the time, but with my like good fits. But um, other than that, I like the chain. It's one of my favorites. You guys can say how you feel about it down in the comment section below. But let's go ahead and get into some on the body shots just so I can show you guys how it looks on you if you were to purchase it. And yeah, let's go ahead and get going. Thanks so much for watching that video if you enjoyed it definitely like subscribe comment all that good stuff and i'll see you guys in the next video i just want to say thanks i'm really trying to go in with these videos especially with this cold crap i got a lot of time to myself so thanks for watching stay safe um see you next video peace